Um, but, you know, for me in STEM, thinking about some of these issues and how I can improve in the classroom, um, I, I think I went the wrong direction to start. And that was we sterilize everything. We make it culturally neutral, right? In a STEM science, I look at them and go, oh, I'm doing everything right because we're all just bags of meat that are doing chemical reactions together. And that's right, <laughs> human, that's it. I mean, there is nothing else other than we are alive, human. Um, but you know, the thing that I realized was is that that kind of change was not really what was needed. And what I found in a little paper from 2020, it was defining inclusive leadership but applies to teaching, is that really we need to recognize and celebrate dissenting perspectives, people that disagree with me on vaccines, uh, creating a collaborative and open-minded environment, but the real key word here is belonging. Um, which I think is kind of absent from a lot of the classic definitions that you see. So, um, going into the literature a little bit, that we know that belonging is one of the most critical things. Um, we can show you papers so that your minorities, minority college students have lower persistence levels to stay, um, and there's tied to point differences and everything else. But really, from those studies, what they concluded was it's not necessarily just the teaching. It's about how they feel in the classroom, whether or not they feel long. And the final conclusion from Holyfield's group was minoritized students drop out because they question whether they belong on a college campus. So um, I dug a little bit deeper because this, this fascinated me. And so what I found was uh, ACUE, AQ, we've, we've done ACUE here on campus. I was proud of faculty scholars for that. Um, and I looked and I found just very recently at Texas A&M, they're pushing this out with the help of ACU across the entire campus, this inclusive initiative for everything. And um, I'm not going to read every single word on here, but just to point out some of the things that we've been echoing here at the Celebration of Teaching all week. Assumptions, biases, perfectionists that are not the same as you. Um, Imposter phenomenons that students feel in their classroom. Microaggressions that just happen as you're teaching and unconsciously. Power differentials as you are the instructor and they are the student. Uh, privilege was another one that I think needs to be considered. That all of these things are barriers to feeling like you belong in the classroom. And so as, as I read through that and thought about my course, right, I, I go, okay, we, we need to make a change. I want to make a change personally. So I went back and I looked at the positive things, like gifts and tools, and power and agency, and how I could help with that in my